All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the little bowl that you have in the middle of your glass that comes default with the printer. Um, I, the reason I'm making this video is because I had bought a glass, but uh, I kind of broke it. <laughs> Dropped on the floor and it shattered, so I'm right now forced to use the old one until the store opens tomorrow. So I thought I'd make a quick video about it. So what you wanna do first is, normally you have your glass plate on here, and then you auto home your nozzle and it comes right over here. And then you're gonna level your bed. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna level it here, here, and you're gonna keep going down little by little until you feel that the paper is no longer grabbing. And right when it starts not grabbing, uh, that's where you wanna make a line. And I'll show you, I've already done that. But you keep leveling it here with the paper, here, 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 here. And then as it goes on, you'll notice that the paper starts catching again when you, when you level it the right way. So what you want to do is level all four corners first, okay? Don't worry about the center. Just do the four, four corners and everything works fine. Uh, then you come back and start again from the top left and work your way down. So in this section is where my paper doesn't grab. My paper grabs here and here. So what I do is I made a line, if you notice. Right there, I have one line here and one line here. So this is the area on my glass that actually sinks in, that curves in. And I'll show you how to fix that without buying a new one. All right, so. Okay, so I know the glass is dirty. I'm not gonna be using it for printing. I'm just doing it for a demonstration purpose. Now the line's at the bottom. Okay, normally I made the line at the bottom. When I leveled it up, this is where the paper grabbed. Here it didn't grab and here it grabbed. And the same thing went, grabbed here, didn't grab here and grabbed here. So easy way to fix that is, if you notice this line right here, I'm laying the paper or the tape right inside of it, like so. All right, so I've laid the, pa uh, the tape this way because this is the part that was the issue. Now you want to make sure you just get it down as nice as you can. I'm just going to... Okay, so that's that. And then uh, all you're going to do from here is do the tape the other way like you would normally do. And that's all there is to it. So what ends up happening is this part here now is an extra padding underneath. So as your paper catches, 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 it still catches here now and catches all the way through. So that's one easy way I figured out that you can do it without buying any extra glass. And there's another way to do this. Um, I am currently using plastic peel or plastic dip as a adhesion. So it's working out pretty good for me. So I'll show you how to do the same thing with that. But for those of you that are using tape, I just thought this would be one good way of doing it. So, you know what? I'll go ahead and do a print on this too just to show you what I'm talking about exactly. So I'll level the bed first, of course, because after you get this on, you have to level the bed again.
And once you level the bed, you're good to go. So, so as you can see, there's that little extra padding right there. And this was already a little bit higher as it was. Okay, so let me go ahead and just cut the axis off. So yeah, this is just the easy way if you don't want to buy the glass right away. Um, I didn't. I know when I got it. And this is something I thought about afterwards. So. It's up to you guys if you want to do this or not. Because I know a lot of you got, get your printer and this is something that you don't think about. And then you got to go and order the glass either from Home Depot or go pick it up and you just don't have time but you're just so eager because it's night time to get your stuff going but basically there it is oh forgot this part to sharpen this blade all right there it is right there. So uh, let's go ahead and get this bad boy leveled. And we can go from there. All right, so I put the glass back on. And what I'm gonna do now is go and get this sucker leveled. Okay, so let's start with here. Paper's grabbing. Notice here, paper's a little tighter. Here it's super tight. So it's moving. There it is. Grabbing here too. This is a little tight. So it's just a little bit tighter in the front, but that's okay. Or not in the front, <coughs> right around the middle, it's a little bit tighter, but besides that, I got all four corners working perfectly fine. So I'm just gonna try to push this down a little bit.
works. Good stuff, now we can start our print. All right, the other way that you can do to make the uh, curve in the middle go away is again, we're just gonna use some tape, but we're not gonna use it to center it. What we're gonna do is I still got my two lines, one here, one here. It levels out here, but not down there. So I'm just gonna put this on here like so. And just stick some paper in there. Like that. To grab another piece. Put it down. And just gonna repeat the process on this side. Now the paper really doesn't matter how you do it because it's eventually going to come off anyways so there it is <clears throat> so we're going to do this and then we're going to continue with the next part all right so once we got everything taped up we're going to come outside and i'm going to use what i normally use guys uh some people don't feel safe using this if you don't please don't use it uh it works for me so i use it I know there's a lot of safety concerns about this going around since I posted my last video. So uh, if you don't feel comfortable using this, please don't. I've been using it since I put up the video, so for me it's been working pretty well. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a shake. And we're going to apply just the first layer right here because this is the part that dips in. So once we get like a thin layer here, then we're just going to take everything off and just start doing layer by layer from there. Okay. Now make sure you don't inhale these fumes because uh, <clears throat> it's labeled on the bottle itself that it is pretty dangerous while it's in vapor form. Once it hardens up, uh, you'll be all right. But while you're spraying it, just uh, protect yourself. Wear a mask if you have to. Okay. Then I go left to right, and then I'm gonna go top to bottom. After this, I'll probably do one more coat and go and rip off the tape after that and then go from there. And also, very important, just make sure you clean up the nozzle with some napkin or paper towel or something just so it doesn't drop globs onto your glass itself okay so I've done uh, just the middle part right there which should hopefully take care of the bowl uh, I have done this in the past and it has worked out pretty well so I'm just giving it time to dry a little bit it's been about a minute minute and a half uh, so I'll go ahead and finish this off I'm gonna put a thick layer on here when I'm done I'll show you what the end result looks like all right, so here's the finished product with the extra in the middle. This should somewhat level it out for you. Now keep in mind this is a temporary solution. You should most likely go get um, a new glass or a, a plate, whatever you used that goes on your heating bed. Um, but this is what it looks like for me. And uh, what I'm pretty much going to do after this is just go ahead and uh, re-level the bed a few times just to make sure everything is good to go. And once that's done, I can go ahead and start the print, and um, that should be it. So this concludes a uh, small video, quick video, on uh, how to temporarily work with the bold uh, glass that you are given by the manufacturer until you can go and find a replacement out there. Uh, if this works great for you, then hey, keep using this. If it doesn't, then uh, go ahead and get a new one. 
But uh, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you like, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like, uh, give me a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more new content out there that I'm going to be making in the future. Um, besides that, like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.